Okay, now that's neat. So you got me a pair of cufflinks. Awesome. I got a coin. It's a clad nickel. <laughs> what a bummer. All right, next to it is a clad quarter. Must have been a hunter. Look at that ugly buckle Dinwiddie oh, found. Everything. <laughs> yeah, I dug up a big piece of plow. All kinds of stuff buried in with it. It's like the dry, trash dump over there or something. Well, keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. This was under the ground. I was hoping it would be. Well, that was singing. That's a big old nice brass belt buckle there. Nice, right, got a little two hole button. Boy, that sure sounded nice. Thought maybe I was going to have a coin there for a second. I find this style here so much. Oh man, I got me a coin. Oh, it's an Indian. Awesome. Oh, that's a beautiful shape, too. Oh. Let me see if I can find a date on this sucker. Yeah, that's an old one for here. That's 1884. That's before Montana was even a state. How awesome. Part of a suspender. That was coming up at 10. So I think it's possible that I have an error coin. Because you look at this and then with the naked eye and you're like, 1894. And you look at it with a magnifier and you're like, 1884. But the second 8 looks like it used to be a 9 and they made it into an 8. Could just be me. I'm going to look that up. I think it's possible that I have an error coin. Because you look at this and then with the naked eye and you're like 1894 and you look at it with a magnifier and you're like 1884 but the second eight looks like it used to be a nine and they made it into an eight could just be me i'm gonna look that up well that's a nice big old piece of horse tack not a bad way to start dinwiddie and i are uh, here on a second day, been sitting in the truck waiting for the lightning to, to go away. So, finally at it, see if we can get. It's amazing how good some of these little buttons can ring up. They sound like, just like a penny. We'll take it. Didn't know he got himself a jar. I think it's a beaut. Ponds. Nothing in it? Not that I can hear. But... Oh, you haven't unscrewed it? I didn't try yet. That's a beaut. Yeah. Man, you're digging some big old stuff. Yeah. Alright, what a big fight. So Dinwiddie just got him a 1910 uh, wheat, wheat penny. And I just got me a little buckle here. Buckle number two. Woodworth, F. Woodworth or something. Five cent in trade. Five cent in trade. Awesome, man. That's sweet. Sounded so good. It was way deep, too. Ah, you gotta love getting tokens. About to eight inches down. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I got something here. What is it? Oh. <laughs> uh. I think it's just a drawer pull. Another F. Woodworth. Just tacoed. And you said this one's a 10 cender? I don't know. I can't tell. It's, I oh. think it's the same. It looks, the writing's all the same. That's cool, man. That gives us something to look up. Yeah. 
There's an old Lee button right out of Dinwiddie's hole. All right, here's button number two out of Dinwiddie's hole. <laughs> uh, also a Lee button, it's just a little smaller. That looks like an old one though. Wonder how far back Lee went. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that might be a bridal rosette. Okay, well we never got a picture of uh, Dinwiddie's Weedy, 1910. I don't see a mint bark. And then there's his two tokens. Boom, that's so cool. And you get a little teeny button. Yeah. That little thing you never use. That is a washer. Yeah, it sounded really nice. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, I wish these uh, GoPros were better, but there's a bobcat right up in there. I was just looking at him through my binoculars. Man, they're so pretty. I know mean, you'll never see it on here, but dang, that's awesome. <laughs>